Welcome back to Bergami. Today we're going to show you how we milk the cows. Let's go and get them. That's all the girls queuing up, ready to get milked. Let's get started. Now, first things first, I've got to feed the girls. So every cow that comes in here gets a ration of cake. So basically it just drops down the feeders as soon as I feed them. Um, and they all get, depending on the amount of milk they give, they get a certain amount of rations. Each cow has a number on their bum. So just type every cow in to feed them, 485. Some are easier to read than others, but obviously I know what they are, but the cows are all due a barber's appointment in uh, Invercarmen Weekly that is coming shortly. Now we need to dip all the cows and then wash their teats. So just dip in every quarter here. Uh, so it, if they have got any dirt on their teats, um, it loosens it up, so when I wipe it off, their tits are clean for milking. And then paper towels here to wipe the tits clean. Now get the clusters on, so the clusters are just to go on all four teats and I'll start milking the cows. Adds the cow milking in all four quarters. You see the milk going down into the cluster. The machine will just milk it until there's no more milk coming, then it'll automatically pull it off. It'll then go up into the meter. It'll go down through the meter and it'll weigh the milk. And then the weight will appear on the screen here. So I'll be able to see each cow's production, each milking.
here's 241 a year, here's her yield, 12 and a half litres she milked just now. So she'll generally give us at least 25 litres a day. Um, whereas if you've got other cows that are near her drying off period, that's five, five and a half. She's probably 12, 13 litres a day. Our cows are all on a pretty basic diet anyway now because we don't over tank our picking up the surplus. So there's no point in producing any more than we have to. Um, all our cows are predominantly Ayrshire cows, as I previously said in previous videos, which produce a higher quality of milk, so a higher butter fat and a higher protein. Um, a lot of your whole season of Frisians and stuff like that, can, some farmers will have 40, 50 litres a day from them. Um, but the quality of milk won't be quite as good, but a lot more volume, whereas it's vice versa with the Ayrshire, a better quality of milk, but less volume. Now we also dip them on the way out as well, so it's just an iodine dip basically. Um, dip all their teats, just to kill any bugs or anything like that that's there. You'll hear a cow in the background banging the trough. She does that every single milking. There's two cows that do it and she's one of them. So I'm not sure if you can pick that up in the background, but I'll show you in a second. So that's them all dipped, and then just open the gate and let them out. Come on girls, on you go. Come on, on you go. So that's that side milk successfully. Um, they're away out to get their silage now. Hope you're not picking up that cow in the background. Come on girls, let's go. Um, come on, let's go. So yeah, they're all milked. Going out to get their silage. As I say, some of the cows um, in the mornings, well, before the milkings, they actually come in um, early and get milk and then straight out to the silage, whereas other ones will eat before they come in. So the ones at the end of the milking have already ate um, prior to milking. This cow in question here, when her cake runs out, she decides she, she's not finished eating. So she will decide that she's going to bang the trough for extra feed. So if you did hear any bang in the background, this is her. Her and 2118 are the only two cows that do this in the whole herd. But 2118 is actually dry just now, so she's not actually getting fed any cake. Um, but yeah, she's, she, as I say, she's the only cow that does that, and it's really annoying. So that's me finished the milking. Um, put the agitator on to cool down the milk. This is an ice bank tank. Um, it has an ice bank. There's two tanks in one, really. So basically there's an ice bank and then there's a tank on top of that. So the ice builds up around the, the top tank that the milk is in. And then when I agitate it, all the milk goes around the side and cools it down. Um, I should have said also that um, the milk does go through two filters before it gets into the tank. So not only do I clean the cows, it also goes through two filters before it reaches the tank. So this milk will be taken down to probably about four degrees and then it'll, be then it'll automatically switch itself off. That's it for this video guys. Massive thank you for all the support in 2021. Here's to 2022. Cheers. It's good stuff that.